Magic Johnson dresses down his head coach, Luke Walton, but says, he's still my head coach. Ooh, this isn't going to end well for Luke Walton. I feel like Tyron Lue is warming up in the bullpen here. If Magic didn't bring you in and LeBron didn't bring you in, I don't think Luke will be long for the Lakers if he survives this season. And the point that we've talked about is you have to have patience. It's not a good look for Magic Johnson. If you talk to Luke Walton, it's just you two, how does his story get out? Who does it benefit here? But Luke Walton was dressed down by Magic Johnson. Basically, what are you doing in this offense? And, you know, here's a key. This just in for Magic and the Lakers. How about some defense, guys? How about a little defense? I don't think Luke Walton is saying, guys, whatever you do, don't play defense. That comes from having effort out there. And he didn't have it, and you're one of the worst defensive teams. But you're not going to be great. Can we lower the expectations? Because you know what's going to happen. They're going to make a trade. They'll make a move because, hey, we got to be relevant. Keep a good product out there. If you're a Laker fan, you have to have patience with this. And if, But it'd help if Magic had patience to say, hey, we're a work in progress here. The final product is not going to look like this. But it's this panic and, hey, we... We lost a couple. Oh, no. Hey, we won a couple. Now, if you win a couple, it, it's a whole new roster here. And it's not easy to coach LeBron James because it's a style. It's his own system. You have to kind of add pieces, subtract pieces with LeBron out there. He's the best player. But you have to understand that it's a partnership where the coach and the star player, and we're going to make it work. But it's going to take time. There's no other team like this. Nobody. But Magic can't do that to Luke Walton this early in the season. It's just a bad look. Patience. And if you don't have patience with Luke Walton, then the fans aren't. And then the media isn't. And then you're not being fair to Luke Walton. Because he held this team together last year. At the end of the season, they played well. They played hard. This is a work in progress. And if you're going to overreact, it's not going to end well. Don't trade anybody. Don't do anything crazy. Just let everybody get the experience of playing with LeBron, understand what that's like, and then see where you are come February, January or February. And if you can make a move that's going to help the team, okay. But I wouldn't do anything. I would see what I have at the end of the season. All right, uh, McLovin, you got a poll question? I have a Juicy NFL Whoa. one. Okay. By the way, I also had an option. Does Luke Walton last this season? I'm curious if people think so. I bet you our audience says 60% no. Yeah. I might pop that up there. Are you curious what, what people say? Yeah. I think because it, if, if this confrontation, discussion, whatever it was that Magic and Luke Walton had, if it didn't go public, then people would say that Luke would survive. When Magic gives you a vote of confidence, and we're not even a month into the season, it's just, this isn't going to end well. Yeah, Paul. Whose decision do you believe it is for who's the Laker head coach? Is it LeBron's, Magic, and Rob Palenka, or both? I think it's LeBron. First. Yeah. Okay. I think you said to LeBron, if you come in here, tell us who you want. Tell us what players you want. And you know what? Let's just see. We owe it, we owe it to Luke for him to coach, okay? Are you okay with that? And I'm going to guess LeBron said, hey... Let's see how it goes in the first year. And then after that, then, you know, maybe I bring in my guy. But Magic didn't bring in Luke and neither neither did uh, LeBron. Yes, uh, Seton. Well, uh, but if you're Magic, why would you want to give up all of that? Not that he necessarily has that control, but why would you immediately want to just say, well, right, but this isn't my team, it's LeBron's team. Well, I think you owe it to LeBron. You probably promised LeBron. Because LeBron's not going to go into a situation where you go, well, who's... Who's going to be picking the coach or who's going to get the players? LeBron's got too much power. And I think the Lakers, you know, acquiesce to him. They, you know, they're saying, hey, come on in and, you know, it's your team. But don't you think ego also has to play a role in this? For Magic? Yeah. But Magic wants to win. I want my star to be happy. You know, Magic had a revolt when he was playing that he didn't like a coach. The coach got fired. So Magic's been in that situation before. And I think with LeBron, 
even though LeBron would do it in a quieter way, I believe that LeBron is going to be picking the next head coach of the Lakers. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.